Yo, what's going on, video g -g 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 gamers? Today we're playing Ymir, and we're going Animosity Ymir, and we're going to see what we can do with it, you know? Because I think Animosity is kind of overlooked, or not overlooked. It's definitely not overlooked. People know it's good, but it's overshadowed by Death Toll and Mannequin Scepter, and, um... That's really it. I mean, like, Death Toll and Mannequin Scepter are just really strong. But I'm going to go a different rate. I'm going to go super absolutely tanky. 4k HP. He's going to get Kins and Shred me. But that's okay because when I hit level 20, or more though, 17, um, we'll catch dubs, hopefully. And if I don't, well, uh, you know. Y'all were cheating, and I'm a bitch, so. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna just do this, dude. I don't know, I'm gonna just do this. Hmm. So, the only issue is that you don't have any early, like, power spike sustain item. Where is animosity? There it is. Right there. 4% of your max health... Add it on to your basics, so. And that's the plan. I hope that it works out the way I want it to, because if it does not, we are in big trubs. He went dust toll. Okay. Normally people go Mannequin Scepter. But Death Toll is definitely the stronger one, which is why I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, that was good damage, right? Death Toll is really strong, though, especially early game. I really thought my 3 would kill, and it didn't, and that makes me unhappy. I can only do so much damage to him. Okay. I guess I can get his beads now. Oh, I guess I just die to this, maybe? Oh, I don't die to it. In fact, he almost died to it. Holy crap. He's gonna ult me. I'm not an idiot. Alright. You get red buff, that's fine. I get my Bancroft, so I'm... I'm okay with this trade so far. I wish I had boots, but is what tis. He's level six, huh? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. In case you're wondering... In case you're wondering what happened there... He tried to dash away, but I put my wall up to stop him. And then I, I channeled my ult and then canceled my wall. So he didn't get an extra dash. So when, I, when you cancel your wall, if there's a Chernobog in it... They just fall out. They fall out like they're a little... They're a, they're a turd in your butthole. They just drop out. And so, so I dropped him out into my alt, where he had no chance of being alive. 
Don't scare me, bud. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't want to fight that. I'm actually really surprised he didn't want to fight that. Alting in, because if he alts in, and I have no cooldowns up, I what do I do? Like, when I have animosity, sure, because I don't need my passive when I have animosity up, but... But I don't have animosity right now. And you would definitely hurt me. But you know what? I'll take what I can get. Now the question is, do I go power boots? Like lifesteal boots and shit? Or do I just go tank boots to help my animosity later in the game? I mean, tank boots still give you 20 power. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go tank boots, fuck it. 150 HP. Hundred HP to 150 HP. What is that? 21? I don't know if it stacked three or four times, I wasn't paying attention. Stacks three times. 21 defense, 150 HP. 20 power. I mean the power's not good, but it doesn't need to be. Oh point of it. Oh! I timed it so perfect. I detonated so perfect. But it didn't matter. Just run away. Unlock. Bummer, dude. <laughs> Do I lose this? My attack speed. Oh, I actually lived. He got the itch of all. That's why he wanted to fight so bad. All right, breastplate. Your middle tower is under attack. I think I killed his wave, right? So I don't need to worry about a wave walking into my ship. Nope, I definitely did not. He's probably doing bull demon. I'm not gonna use my two here. It's gonna auto attack. Okay, well, this shit is on cooldown. do I do? The ball you out for a sec. He's just gonna cancel his ult and land. And I am okay with that because Bancrofts. And then I turn on him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let me get my breastplate online. After I kill this red buff, obviously. We're playing pretty well. 
pretty well. Um, and then I do want one attack speed item. I do want a Telekines, probably. Give me some attack speed, you know what I mean? He's going runic. I have 2,000 HP already. Three items in and only one of them giving me a little bit of HP. I do plan on going mid-guard, by the way. That was not where I expected him to go. Beads are down. I don't really know if I'm ever to ever able to kill him for a while at least. I really want this blue buff, dude. Nice. Oh, we actually stopped his back, dude. That's big. Alright, and we got the kill, too. How did we do that? I really did not think that he was killable there. But, I mean, shit. I'll take anything I can get right now. I am on a time limit. Well, not really, actually. He's he's the one kind of on a time limit, now that I think about it. Because once I get Animosity, I'm just going to bop the shit out of him even without my passive. Well, that's poop. That is a poop. I mean, I'm landing everything, dude. Like, straight up, I'm landing everything. Hell yeah, dude. And the, the wall is so strong against Cherno because he knows he can't just go into it. Because he knows the second he goes into it, I just take it down and he just dies. Now, this red buff does kind of suck, because, um, he's gonna ult me? He's back. I want a mid-guardian as well, because that's gonna give me a lot of HP. Um, give me 75 right now, but it'll give me up to 300, so give me 225 more. Plus three more levels. I should get at least 3k HP. I have telekines now and once I have telekines and my animosity which will be next item um he's big fucked oh by the way animosity gives you 400 HP by itself so yeah I don't need any passive period it's okay with you I'm just gonna take tower though Slightly scary. He wants to ult me. Ah, oh, shit. All 
Alright, we lived. We lived, you love to see it. I can I should actually stop buying Midgard because I can afford animosity now. I can't afford it. I'm assuming he just went straight to Bull Demon. Which would be my guess. Yeah, there it is. Also, animosity gives us so much tower pressure too. Big slow. And he's got dash up soon. I can't catch him. Big kill. Minions are now into the Phoenix. I want my minions to help me do damage here, which is why I turned on to the minion wave. This will give me Phoenix. Might. I was going to say might cost me my life. I could back here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go do red. He might ult me. If he does, whatever. I don't fucking care. Alright, he did not ult me. I'm just saving for animosity, by the way, right now. It's 2250, I think, for the whole thing. Might as well get this. Let me see. Is it 2250? Oh, it's 2100. Shit. That's a lot cheaper than I thought it was. 400 extra HP here. And I have 3.3k HP. How much HP does this give me? 200? I add an extra 100 onto that. I'll have pretty much 3,500 HP. I mean, I'll have 34, 40 HP. And how much damage does that do per auto attack? I don't know now. <laughs> Let's see. An extra 91 damage. 91 damage per auto. 182 extra damage per tower because it's doubled against structures. Oh no, they, they removed the doubling against structures. Nice. You do not scare me, friend. Bro, I do so much damage. Oh my god. Like, there's no stopping it. I just go full tank. Or not full tank. Obviously, I have Bancrofts and Telekines. But pretty much full tank. And then just fucking bop. And it's doubled again. Or, no, again, it's not doubled. I forgot. They removed that, but... I mean, you, you just kill objectives so fast, dude. Holy crap. That's nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, try this out in your game because it's actually nuts. Apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys.